All right, let's get letter from the from the producer number 33 started. This is a long one. Hello again to all you FF14ers out there, and to all of you looking forward to Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn. Letter from the producer number 33 incoming. Well, I'm back from China Joy in the blazing hot metropolis that is Shanghai, and now my sights are level on Cologne and Gamescom 2012. At the same time, we're busy preparing a little something special for the upcoming 25th anniversary of Final Fantasy and getting ready for Final Fantasy XIV Alpha Test. The heat is on, figuratively and literally. Like I wrote last time, there's been a lot going on. The new teaser site's gone live, the new game title's been announced, the new logo's been revealed, and a new trailer's been released. We've thrown a bunch of stuff out into the public, and now we're finally shifting into a full-blown A Realm Reborn mode. There's tons there's tons of topics I'd like to get into with you. What's on the teaser site, and what's in the trailer, and the imagery of the new logo, and the meaning of some of the keywords we've been dropping. But in this letter, I'm just going to talk about what's going on in the trailer. Hope that's cool for now. The title of the trailer is The Fate of the Orzo, and in editing the cuts, voiceover, and music we put together with, <laughs> with the aim of appealing to people all around the world in a big way. That's why I might look in look a little different from other FF series stuff you've been you've seen up till now. We tried to make it as much like a hit Hollywood blockbuster trailer as we could. I know you're all Jones in from some in-game footage though, and I promise it's on the way. We're going to be introducing some of the new content and features doing walkthroughs and some maps, and showing the overhauled combat and battle regime system. It's all going to be coming dra gradually as part of a Realm Reborn's marketing leading up to release. I know that's a bit longer than some of you would like to wait, but I hope you'll bear with me as I keep an eye out for it all. <laughs> I apologize for all these uh, word typos. F14 A Realm Reborn isn't meant for any one region or specific generation of gamers. Whether you know Final Fantasy or don't, whether you've ever played it or not, whatever hours you keep, whatever language you speak, it's a game meant to be enjoyed by anyone in any part of the world. I hate to repeat myself, but I really want to show the appeal of A Realm Reborn in a gradual and easy to understand way, even to people who don't know anything about the Final Fantasy series. Still, I admit, there's a bit of persistence traditionalist in me. I did want to use the FF Crystal theme and BGM of the trailer, but in the end, I decided it just didn't fit the vibe. The first trailer really needed something with more punch. So after really having the inner voice nag at me for a while, I decided to have another trailer made up. Which we did, thanks to the hard work and of the Visual Works crew, Masayoshi Soken, and the others on our sound team and our marketing and PR teams. For the old school FF fans out there like me, I hope that you can feel a nice mix of the old and the new, some nostalgia and some novelty. This is the second trailer for the game. The last one was The Fate of Eorzea. Let's go. Let's go ahead and call this one A Realm Reborn. Boom! That just happened. And what a rebirth it's going to be. The disaster that will usher in the Seventh Humble Era is threatening Eorzea with darkness and danger. The themes of destruction and the rebirth are more powerful than ever for FF14, and so what better time to drop three key words in the trailers to hint at what's on the way in the wake of, coming, of the coming catastrophe. I think it's a little something special for those playing the game now, since it shows the worlds of the current version and the future version side by side in a way that hasn't been done before. Alright, let's get back to Eorzea, the current version. Patch 1.23 went live a few days back, and I... Just like with 1.22, we are going to be releasing 1.23a, b, as well as 1.23a to go live on August 13th. The seventh Umbral catastrophe looms. Get ready for the grand finale and dive headlong into your final adventure before the realm is reborn. Talk to you next <laughs> next letter uh, or on our forums. All right, Gamescom, here I come. Bizbald. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that letter from the producer. I will see you guys next time. You all have a good one. Bye-bye.